Nope, the title's not clickbait. I got this brand new 2020 Mac Mini with an M1 chip, 8 gigabytes of RAM, and a 256 gigabyte solid state drive directly from Apple Canada, and it only cost me about 300 Canadian dollars. That's roughly about 250 US dollars. I'm going to show you exactly how I did it in this video. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Serge and welcome back to my channel. Before I get into how I got this Mac Mini for only 300 Canadian dollars, I'll go through a bit of my backstory and tell you why I got it, what I use it for, and why I decided to go with the cheapest model. If you want to go straight to how I got it so cheap, fast forward to this part of the video. For those of you who decided to watch my full video, especially if you're new to my channel, I make video editing tutorials. I post at least one video every week, so needless to say, I spend a lot of time at my computer. My current setup is actually two setups. At home, I have a 16 inch MacBook Pro connected to an external display and a NAS drive at my desk. This is my main computer and this setup is awesome for editing video. The only issue is I travel for work quite a bit, so I end up doing a lot of my editing away from home. Now, I could just take my 16 inch MacBook Pro with me, but disconnecting everything, then hooking everything back up when I'm home can be a bit of a hassle. So for editing on the go, I have another MacBook Pro to be more specific, for traveling, I have a 2015 15 inch model. This stays in my bag, along with a charger and whatever else I need. Whenever I import footage into Final Cut Pro, I make proxies of all my files. There's two reasons for this. One is my 2015 15 inch MacBook Pro is getting a bit older and editing proxy files is much easier on it. The main reason I make proxies though is the file sizes. The proxy files are quite a bit smaller, so whenever I need to edit on the road, I just make a proxy only library, put it on my portable drive, and take it with me. So instead of having to take my laptop I use at home, all the dongles and the charger, all I have to do is toss this portable drive in my bag and I'm ready to go. But like I mentioned before, my 2015 MacBook is getting old and it's starting to slow me down, so it's time for an upgrade. Instead of spending money on another laptop, since one of my computers never leaves my desk, the Mac Mini is the most logical choice. I already have a monitor, a keyboard, and a trackpad, so this is kind of a no-brainer. The one I decided to go with is the base model, with a 256 gigabyte solid state drive and eight gigs of RAM. First, let's talk about storage. This will never leave my desk, so it'll always be connected to my network drive. And when editing my videos, I always keep my footage on an external drive. I don't think it's as much of an issue as it used to be, but back in the mechanical drive days, you always wanted to keep your footage on a different drive than the operating system. This is what I've been doing from the start. I have a good media management system in place, and external storage is so much cheaper than internal storage. I also chose to go with only 8 gigs of RAM, because I really wanted to see if this base model, without any upgrades, would be good enough for what I needed for. Basically, all this will be used for is editing 4K in HD video. Nothing crazy like 8K or files with extremely high bit rates. The heaviest lifting this Mac Mini will have to do, at least for a while, is a 4K HEVC files from my iPhone. And according to my research, this shouldn't be a problem at all. Over the next week or two, I'm going to do some extensive testing just to make sure this base model is sufficient for what I need it for. Worst case scenario is I have to return it, but I really don't think that'll be the case. So how did I get this for only 300 Canadian dollars? Let's go to Apple's website and I'll show you. And keep in mind, this is Apple Canada, so all prices are in Canadian dollars. I'll navigate to the Mac Mini and select the base model. Now before adding this to our bag, let's take a look at Apple's trade-in program. In my case, after purchasing this Mac Mini, I had a 2015 15-inch MacBook Pro that I really didn't need anymore. I could have sold it privately, but this was so much easier. All I had to do was enter my serial number, answer a few easy questions, and that was it. Apple makes this process so easy. They send you a box with everything you need included. You get a prepaid shipping label, instructions on how to package your return, you even get tape to seal your box. And once your package is received, you get a refund for whatever your return is worth. Mine was about $600, so after that, my new Mac Mini only cost me just over $300. Over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be doing a lot of testing with this Mac Mini, especially using Final Cut Pro. I expect it to perform quite a bit better than my 2015 MacBook Pro, and maybe even comparable to my 16-inch, but I guess we'll find out soon enough. I'll post my results on this channel. 
If you have any questions about the 2020 Mac Mini or have anything you want me to test, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you back here next week. Thank <laughs> you.